Hello and welcome to Enor's webinar series. Today's topic is deep dive analysis with Google Analytics. We will be covering two very powerful features. One is called secondary dimensions and one is called pivoting. A couple of housekeeping items here before we start. One is about the slides themselves and one is about um, the webinar. The, both the slides and the webinar will be archived and available uh, on demand uh, on our site at at enor.com, e-nor.com. The agenda for today's webinar is as follows. Uh, we'll have a quick introduction, define what these features mean, and then right, go right into actually showing you graphs of how these features uh, can be used for better analysis and also go live into one of our Google Analytics account and show you how you can create and use these features and, and these reports for your own, um, for your own analysis. And this slide is this slide is from our marketing team. Just uh, sort of to give you a quick background about Enor, um, we are a Google Analytics authorized consulting firm. We're also a Google Urchin reseller, and we are a Google um, AdWords qualified company, among among other things. Uh, so jump into uh, what we want to cover today and what you are here for to learn more about Google Analytics. So so what are what are these things that are called secondary dimensions and pivoting? First on secondary dimensions. Basically, this feature allows us to to view more than one dimension at the same time. You know, we can simultaneously look, for example, at our keywords and um, the regions where those keywords came from. You know, I can look at the metrics of these two dimensions in one view, in one table. This is very powerful, as you will see in the next few slides. Uh, what is pivoting? Pivoting is is a feature that allows us to rearrange the information we have in, in one report. Uh, we can have this multi-dimensional view. I can compare trends. I can look at how my keywords based on their traffic sources as well as, for example, whether um, you know the region where those, those keywords or that traffic originated from, all in one view, all in one table. So when I'm reviewing my reports, when I'm trying to find trends or find issues or find what, what's performing on my site, I can easily um, find those trends and act on them um, as opposed to maybe having to go through few reports and try to export things to a spreadsheet and try to do things manually. So you'll see the power of these two features here, here in the next few slides and hopefully again you can use that to your advantage and to make your site better. So looking at secondary dimensions first, you'll see this snapshot of a, of a report. You know, say we're looking at our landing pages. Uh, we're looking at say two pages, the, the home page, first row, you know, row one and two, and then look looking at my politics page. And, and this this report is actually from a news website. Uh, so how pages are doing, how content is doing is, is very important um, you know, to, to the site owner. Um, so you look, for example, by selecting the visitor type dimension, where you see that uh, red box here. You'll see that, for example, on on my mo on my politics page, that my returning visitors are bouncing at a rate of 31 percent, and my new visitors are bouncing at about 39 percent. So obviously, if I want to act on this data, I can quickly go and, and maybe look at my content, my layout. Um, you know what's appealing, what's not appealing to my new visitors, and and maybe um, do some testing or make some changes so I can get my new visitors more engaged with my site. Again, very quickly with one click of the button, I was able to view the performance of my pages across the visitor type. Now, looking at pivoting, sort of let's say we keep the same same site in mind here, and and we're looking at the home page, and I want to see the same metrics, you know, entrances and, and bounce rates. I want to see that across maybe browsers and across operating system. Maybe I suspect there's some cross, cross browser incompatibilities. So by selecting uh, the pivoting view uh, from the Google Analytics report and, and in the drop down selecting operating system, all of a sudden here with again a couple of clicks, I have my home page you know, rows one through four. And then in the second column, I see the different browsers, you know, i.e. Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. And then I pivoted this against um, the operating systems. And, and then the report here shows uh, the first two, for example, Windows and Macintosh. And I can immediately see what's performing 
maybe uh, what's not performing or at least I can see see, see some spots that, that require further invest, uh, investigation so right here I can see that my bounce rate I guess the highest bounce rate here is is on on Firefox on on Macintosh on you know on a Mac so uh, that goes right into my web design team and maybe we schedule a meeting and try to figure out why the bounce rate is so high there same the next thing maybe I, I might be interested in doing is looking at row 4 here and look at Safari and how it's doing on my Windows you know on, on the Windows operating systems and you'll see that the bounce rate is about 42 percent again if I want to do something if I have some time if I want to I want to prioritize or help my web design team prioritize some some uh, troubleshooting some site improvements I can have some uh, ideas on where to start and that's really uh, the benefit of, of these two powerful features secondary dimensions and, and pivoting um, you know they both allow us to see uh, to give us more context of the data that we're analyzing and, and within one or two clicks have much more insight of you know what's going on on the site so now we'll uh, we'll pause here for a second and go to a live example so we'll demonstrate here the new pivoting feature and basically what you'll do is you'll go on the right hand side here of the different views you know your table view your pie chart view the different views and then you click on the last one here to the right on pivot and once you click on it you'll notice that there is a new row that with, with the drop down here it says pivot by and let's say again to um, to remember what we were doing before we were looking at the performance of the home page this is a landing page for this site and we were trying to compare how the page is doing across different browsers so we have the browsers listed by use by using the secondary dimension feature and now I'm going to go ahead and, and select from this drop down I'll go down and I'll select operating system and what we should see here is how my pages are doing uh, across the different operating systems again uh, this drop down you can select you can pivot by any number of, of dimensions um, and to kind of make sense of the data now let me just go back and, and, and remind you what we've done at the beginning we selected the content report we selected the landing pages and, and this is the home page for this one site then we selected the browser from the, the secondary dimension so now we see how the page is doing across these different browsers and maybe browsers I wasn't aware of you know I wasn't aware that people are coming to my site maybe using the you know Chrome and I need to go and and work with my my web design team to improve maybe the performance on on Chrome or or otherwise um, and then you can go in here and see for example the different operating systems listed Windows Macintosh Linux um, and etc now uh, here's uh, another thing we can do and I want to see not only entrances I want to see bounce rate so I select that and in the same report we'll see uh, how these how these uh, the pages and the browsers and their bounce rates across the different operating systems and I'll show you here as we move the screen you'll see a lot of insight right here all in in one report I'm looking at the home page, my browsers, my entrances, my bounce rates, and I can spot things very, very easily. I mean, this this information was available or is available in Google Analytics through other reports, but you would have to run really a number of reports, maybe export things to a spreadsheet, do some pivoting of your own, uh, create pivot tables and whatnot. But it's right here, you know, snapshot, and and you'll see that. Firefox, you know, my home page on Firefox on, a, on on Macs is where I need to spend a bit more time because I have a probably the highest bounce rate of, of this group. And second, maybe I need to look at my Safari, the bounce rate, you know, my Safari on Windows, maybe maybe something, the layout, maybe some the code wasn't done right, or maybe there's something out there that is obviously uh, not giving my users who are using Firefox on a Mac or Safari on Windows the experience that they, they should be getting so that's really what we wanted to demonstrate here is is the ability to use secondary dimensions and, and pivoting to give you insight and much more context um, on the fly a very very powerful uh, tool very powerful features that will help us spend less time reporting and more time you know analyzing and taking actions to improve um, to improve our sites secondary dimensions and pivoting 
they really allow us to give you know to get on the fly deep dive analysis give us they give us a whole lot of more context and useful insights and as I said earlier less time reporting more time analysis and action and that's really what it's all about is is, is finding issues and and take action to correct these issues or finding good trends and uh, capitalize on those trends um, I hope you've found you've um, you found this information helpful and uh, if you have any more questions you can contact us at enor uh, at 408-988-0003 or info at e-nor.com and we look forward to seeing you at our next um, next webinar thank you bye